some of the stuff is specialty tools that uh, um, Clay here has made for our shop just to make it more convenient. First of all, we're going to start off with what you do, we're going to do a bearing end play uh, and how to check it and how to um, adjust it if needed. So in this particular case, like I said, everything we're doing in this class is going to be your uh, V-twin custom Harley-Davidson style parts and components or so on. So in this particular wheel that we're doing, it uses a three-quarter inch axle. So what Clay's done is he's just welded up an axle to this uh, piece of angle so that we could stick it in the vise here. Okay. Then we've got our wheel. We've taken and uh, just put an old rotor on this because this is just for demonstration purposes. And in this one here, uh, the bearings are out of it on both sides. So we'll go ahead and slip one on here. Now the seals are out and the big point we need to make on this is if you guys notice here, there's no grease, okay? That's a specification by Harley in the industry. Uh, as I'm going through this tonight, you'll see where I'm using the manual. Uh, you do your checking with no grease in it. That's really important, okay? So you want to clean it out as thoroughly as possible. This is obviously all disassembled. This is what your center spacer looks like in here. Okay. All right. And then we have some spacers. We got enough here. So what we're doing here is we're just going to torque this up. Like I said, Clay's already made this with a spacer in here so we could torque it down. This is nothing important. It's just a generic spacer. And then your nut here. And we'll get this going here. Make sure this is tight. So basically what we're doing is what we're... So you guys can kind of get an idea. I'll make this loose. We're setting this, okay? This is really important. On these, uh, on cheaper wheels, brand new, uh, another thing we'll be talking about, the spokes can be loose uh, right from the manufacturer. And this bearing end play can, uh, it's usually tighter uh, than being lo too loose. Okay, so what happens is as you uh, torque your wheel down, if this space isn't set correctly, it actually is locking the bearings. Will the vehicle roll? You ever had a bike uh, that just seems to really push hard? That's what this is, is that usually the bearings are too tight, not necessarily just uh, um, rusty. So as we go here, take our torque wrench. Per the manual for this particular wheel, it torques 50 to 55 foot-pounds, okay? Now here's the trick of this, okay? This is... Uh, as, as the mechanic of this, as you're tightening this down, you spin the wheel a little bit and you're going to torque it, okay? If there is zero clearance, the wheel will literally stop, okay? So we're torqued here and this still spins freely, okay? You guys follow what I'm saying here about it being too tight. You can kind of feel, feels pretty good and tight. So now the next step here is we're going to take a dial indicator. Okay. This is a tool here, this magnetic base and dial indicator. You can get a shot of the face here. So what we're doing, now that we have this torqued and this on here, we're going to see where we're at here on the face. And for a, uh, the specification uh, from Harley out of the manual here is two to six thousandths. Okay, in the field here we like two thousandths on uh, new wheels and four thousandths on used wheels and bearings. That's the spec where it'll fall into place, okay? If you have too much clearance, uh, six thousandths is the max. Uh, you can get uh, bump steer, high speed wobbles. Imagine that you have too much clearance in here. So as your wheel's in the, on the bike position, it's literally moving around. And that's uh, some of the things that'll happen as the bearings start to wear out. So now once we're torqued properly, we got our tools on here properly. Actually just take the wheel like this and I'm gonna move it up and down. And you'll see the gauge. Do you see the, uh, the gauge moving here? See it going back and forth? This wheel happens to be in spec, okay? So there's nothing you need to do. You just take it back apart, grease your bearings, don't forget to grease your bearings, and then you would uh, install your new seals and then it'd be ready for the bike as far as the bearing is, is okay. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.